Says, hey everyone, and here I'm with another uh, Lego Wicked set review, and also my last for now. Well, could there be any other sets of it eventually? Well, possibly, but yeah. Okay, but this one is on Welcome to the Emerald City, of course. So on the front of the box here, we have the Lego Wicked logos, and same border as is all the sets, and then picture of the Emerald City that there is, and Alpha flying near towards it, and recommend ages is nine and up. Set number seven five six eight four has nine hundred forty five pieces. And on the back side of which have the back side back side view of the set and a couple of little pics that going on of it and scan inside which is for our QR code piece that there is and logo again and there. Now onto the manuals, which is a total of four whole manuals. Which so obviously to like separate the build up in, amongst a few other people in the room. It's almost like the yeah the four set of Star Wars and the recent Avatar sets, of course. First one of which is the transition from plastic bags to paper bags. Add for the builder app. And then nothing on the back. Last steps there. Oh, what? All the pieces that come with the set, of course. Five full pages, and also in movie picture of the Emerald City with the train that there is, which which I hope we get as a set in eventually. But yeah, and also Poppy Field, of course. But yeah, nice to see there like the Avatar sets. And then out of all the sets which I have reviewed all of and last steps there. And now on to all the mini dolls included. First of which we have have Glinda, which is the North of which, oh, which be a uh, face printing and hair piece. Same that comes in to both the other sets of this way of this line, and also the whereas the torso piece and or torso print and a uh, dress piece of which all the printings done quite well for that. And this of which quite which actually both her and Elfida, the printings of which just about the same as or similar to the ones on the uh, large figures uh, set that there is. But anyways, on to Glinda here is also have the classic uh, crown tiara type piece, but in but in clear sparkly. In clear sparkly, nice to see there. And also the same with on the staff piece of which is held on a hinge rod, of course. But otherwise, great to have that piece in that kind of coloring. Nice to use for mocking. And then Alphada of which, but in hair and face printing, also the same as in uh, uh, other sets, and also the hair hat combo piece, also used, also found in the uh, dorm box set as well. And the most unique part of her is this cape piece, which I'll go over later. And of course, wielding the classic broom piece. So. And next to which is. Uh, the Wizard, or otherwise the Great and Powerful Oz, uh, which played by Jeff Goldblum in the film. Like you guys see the uh, face printing, torso printing, uh, quite nice for how they are, and also nice to have this top hat piece, but in dark green, kind of like we saw on the 
a leprechaun in the exam at Lion's Feather. And you can also, and also can like swap it out with a traditional dark gray hair piece of it for that. And then also, yeah, and also some nice uh, printing on the foot part of that. And then next to which we have uh, Madame Morbill, which was a quite nice uh, torso printing, dress printing, all quite nice for that. And face printing, also quite good for how it is. And also nice to have this hair piece in white, which, and of course, also good to have for with the accessory hole in it. And then lastly, it is a uh, Fyro. Fyro, yeah. Which, nice to have that same exact hairpiece as the wizard, but, or actually a little different kind of one for that, but in this light gingerish color and also has dual molded legs, good to have there. And whereas the face print and torso printing, all quite good for how they are. But yeah. Oh, whoops. And then on to the back sides of each of them. And all of which do have some good back torso printing on all of them. But Alpha does, does have, have this new cape piece of which, which kind of like flails out in both directions. Kind of interesting how that is. But otherwise, kind of a neat one and hopefully this gets used on uh, in other sets in the future. But yeah. And also some quite good back torso printing on her as well, but yeah. And that's about it with this mini doll selection. And as for like Dorothy, uh, Scarecrow, uh, Tin Man, and the Cowardly Lion, which, and Toto, which we could have had in this set as well, but maybe that'll come in another set eventually, well, even though in the trailers they do come to the Emerald City, of course. But, but, but once again, maybe we'll see that in another set eventually, but yeah. So that is about it there. And now on to this little uh, fruit cart kind of build. Uh, which kind of similar to ones that we've had in some city set. City and Friends sets, uh, which, but of course, in like a few different green colors, quite fitting to the Emerald City theme. So, like this uh, front board part, which is probably a menu and also list of items that there are. And of course, on a sticker sheet, which there's quite a few stickers in this set. And then as for the rest of it, you have a couple cylinders, and also, whereas there's two of the Technic ball joint pieces, but in brown, kind of nice to see there, and good for mocking, and also to have a couple of cone pieces in trans yellow and blue, obviously to be bottles of something. And then kind of interesting part are these, but also these two little uh, hoop parts, which, which we did once see as Quidditch goalposts in one of the small scale Harry Potter sets as well. And then also you have this wheel part on there. And then also these couple of other wheel parts used for like uh, wheelchairs and such. Well, modern wheelchairs. And then of course this uh, bicycle back part of it with the friend's handlebar piece on there. And of course can like uh, sit video on to uh, kind of hard to do so uh, there you go and clip the hands into the corners and of course back wheel part also quite similar to that as well and it does roll very well and that's about it with this additional side build. And now on to the Emerald City itself. Well, obviously, 
select this, the Emerald City, which is an iconic part of the Wizard of Oz and just Oz in general. And of course, a large text mix of various green colors of like traditional green, translucent green of two different colors, and uh, turquoise slash, uh, yeah, turquoise slash teal, and also, but of course, a bit of gold here and there, and some dark blue as well, which probably has an accent color to it, but yeah. And of course, and also, like the recent Yavin 4 set it, in Star Wars, is does pop off in sections, as well as this part of it. So let's look at each section separately. So this front section, which is a lot of tile bits and also a couple little builds for various flowers and such. Well, in well, and also the leaf pieces in pink, kind of in pink quite nice to see there and well newer flower piece in coral then and now so quite like this texture of it with these quite unique kind of bricks to there and also these and also jumpers with tiles on them really like this texture and also those fancy fence pieces but probably to represent like windows and such of which very nice for how that is and of course have a, a two by six tile with a sticker on it saying Wizomania. Yeah, quite nice there. And then and then as for on the back side of it, it does have this a uh, little additional table and also a mini build of the balloon that I uses at the end of the original Wizard of Oz one. And also this little extra side build with a little table part with two different kinds of cakes one round, one uh, circular, and of course with the strawberry plate piece on it, and also one with cherries on it or something. So, and, a, and of course the rest of which is not much going on, and then I also do have these large uh, panel pieces in the like spring green kind of coloring, which we probably saw in like elves. And then as for this uh, uh, upper part of it. Oh wait, also to note there's a like archway piece in teal and also these core plate, plate pieces also in teal. Nice to see there and also to have quite a few stud, exposed studs which is where the top tower part connects onto which I'll show later and also both sides of which does have both a traditional uh, Technic pin and also the a hybrid blue one as well on both sides to attach the other two on onto it as well. And so now onto this one section, which has quite a bit of turquoise teal in it as well, and also this large uh, hoop-like area or arch rounded archway around it and another one of those large pillar pieces and a few poles of which to attach it to that center part of it and a couple of cylinders and an astromech droid headpiece from Star Wars but in trans uh, green for that obviously to represent like small versions of the towers of it and then as for this other section is obviously sort of a gazebo type of bill which has a basket with a red apple on it and this little table like built in there built quite nicely and also these little cylinder pieces that have like large stick clear stickers on them showing that it is kind of an apple area and also have a lot of these candlestick pieces and those uh, special pieces holding the uh, other uh, lightsaber hilt pieces from monkey kid and also have the a Cinderella wheel piece is on there acting as a roof part which I say nice use of that piece for them and then top of which which is kind of a odd tree like build with the dark green leaf pieces of two different sizes and others of which that hold the uh, red apple pieces of which quite nice build for that then then flip to the inside of which 
you see same kind of thing barely much going on with it and also do have some like like by one bricks cones and cylinders in different uh, translucent colors one of which and a couple of which that have sparkly or satin sparkly kind of looks to them very nice and and also this little uh, mirror-like decoration to it and some little things or flat studs one sparkly one on to the side of which not sure what they're for but whatever and also forgot to mention this door piece of which does swing open nicely and also has this little uh, sticker on it saying that's a, a sign to a shop that's probably a sign to a shop for like like some like for like perfumes or potions or whatever so, but yeah and that is valid right there and now on to this other section which has like these little little edge kind of bricks alongside them and also same design as the front gate kind of one of which and also this little table that has one of those stand pieces and also quite unique build for these chairs that are resting on those little clear pieces that go on the jumpers for that so kind of unique build to them anyways and then this table part assembly which does have a few pieces like the teacups and also a couple little flat studs so that are being like uh, donuts and cup and strawberries and both resting on these quite unique new not sure if they're new but probably quite unique little uh, flat uh, plate pieces or jumper pieces on them And then also do have this technic uh, rim kind of piece, which acting as a little larger archway kind of build to it. And also these couple little gold pieces or gold add-on pieces. And this, and then also this extra large uh, circular plate that has a like old style clock on it. And luckily it's printed for that. And also little bouquets of flowers in different different kind of pieces to that and then another mini tower to it it's nice to see there and also the sides of both of the archway this design very nice for that with the gold jumper and trans green stud and then inside of which a little more of those flat studs on there and also a little bookcase that that has this that you can take that out nothing and both of which are doorways in uh, in teal coloring, kind of cool, quite nice then. And also this bookcase of which does have a couple of tiles being books and also a tile piece that has a the QR code on it, which if you get this in hand and scan it, then you would know. And also this book can come out and it's in lime green, kind of nice then. And then open it up and it says once upon a time like we saw in one of the disney castle sets and then and also like the other one which does have the a plate on it and of course add a bit of shape add to the shaping of it but yeah and that's about it for that one and now on to the center tower part of it as you see kind of tall for it like this so like the like main bottom part of which a couple more of those pieces on there and resting on two large wedge plates but are in a uh, teal for that and also quite nice railing around and also two more of those mini towers of it kind of night quite nice for that and also archway made of gold uh, curved plates and also other curved bricks in teal same with on the upper part of it quite nice there and also in the center part is this little window like build that's probably the young version of the wizard which probably is but yeah or yeah quite is then and then a little further upwards, there's a, another little window way in this 
a little archway window build to that and then also do you have this little big large window area that has those like kind of curved uh, pieces around them and also on one side of this uh, which well do you have the uh, panel pieces in green quite nice then and also these this uh, car windshield piece but in uh, trans green which you get three of in this set quite nice and but this one kind of on there randomly so there's quite a bit of asymmetry then but like on this upper part of which does have like two of those top and bottom and also a lot of these green uh, leaf pieces well that are translucent green to say and then the top part of which which does have a few more of them as well and also one off to there oh wait, actually it's like that of course and also a few curved slopes in both regular and trans green and also these oval window designs that have the trans green uh, uh, by two bricks on both sides then and then top part of which which are the large curved slopes around to it and then also a couple this gold cone and also this little build to it with a steeple on top being a little antenna of course then onto the back side of it there's like not much going on but also does have a large jumper plate onto it and and also what these two uh, dark blue jumpers are for is to attach this uh, clear uh, plate like piece onto it and as it showed on the box cover it shows just like this with alpha and the broom onto it like we saw so kind of same effect as in the one of the Harry Potter Quidditch sets so for that to get the flying effect to it but also back to this interior part does where on both sides are the one by two by two uh, bricks in teal with these sticker kind of bits that have, are supposed to be like little drawer areas on both sides of it. And then lower down, which is this quite nice mini build of of Oz's uh, projection kind of face. Well, before a projector part in the original Wizard of Oz film. And of course built quite nicely, well looking like it does in the trailer for that. And also these like large curtain like builds of which in the dark pink color. Of which in both the like extra large and then kind of kind of slopes and then uh, tiles and the unique bricks to that. Quite nice for how that is. In the lower part of which probably like a small, small small scale model of the Emerald City and well actually of all of Oz like the Emerald City, the Yellow Brick Road, and then probably uh, Munchkin Land and Shiz Uni. And then also on the side a little control panel that Oz can use that the wizard can use to uh, control it with of course. And of course Quite a few jumpers for mini dolls to stand on as well. But yeah. And so now, how this goes together to the uh, center part of it, and then both of these sections. Is that have the on the sides then which could connect to the pins and axles on both sides and attach on like so and makes kind of an archway to it there and then also the few studs that connect this top tower part which so as you see goes together quite nice and smoothly like some of the Harry Potter Hogwarts sets but yeah. and then lastly is Alphida on her broom, of course. And 
And so now on to the final verdict. Overall, I think this is which a quite really good set for how it is. Like, obviously it's the iconic place of the Emerald City, and which of course also would be nice to have the Wizard of Oz kind of version of it. Well, maybe that could come eventually in the future, but yeah. But as for the mini doll selection, great to have the wizard, the which since kind of key part of both this and Oz the Great and Powerful and everything else. But yeah, and also nice to have the main iconic versions of both Elfida and Glinda, even though the, that which also comes in the uh, dormitory box set. That, but although at least these versions quite exclusive and. Whereas for Glinda, which I think would have been great to have a like little or a couple little large cylinder pieces to you'd be the bubble that he's in in the original Oz movie and also in one of the trailers of the film. But whereas for the hundred dollars that it is, I say oh it's kind of quite good for how it is. Like there's plenty of good, plenty of yeah, nice stuff going on to it and kind of saying similar to like some like hundred dollar play sets that there are but whereas there's not much playability for with this set I would well as well well despite that it still works out as a good display piece as well and also good to have as part of a Oz mock for that but yeah. and also would be nice to have some extra yellow plates to be the uh, yellow brick road leading to it but yeah but well that would have bumped it up a little more but as is the witch still quite good for how it is but yeah and of course nice to have a lot of green parts to it like we saw with the unexpected gathering hobbit hole set in the hobbit theme but yeah and so now if you are looking to get this set for your uh Ozmok, definitely pick it up. And if you are looking to get this set and looking forward to Wicked, then definitely pick it up. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.